What if we start the video off today with a cold start? It's like, I don't know, 70 degrees outside, but the truck's been sitting for a while. Cold start, man. Listen to that good old Vortex 350 per man. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a fresh, brand new video. It has been a while since I've actually been in front of this camera and actually filmed a new video. Like everything else, like all the other videos that you've seen have been, you know, old videos. I've got plenty of old footage that I still need to put together and uh, get uploaded on the channel. You guys are probably wondering, where's all the videos from Lifted Truck Nationals? I took a lot of videos. We had two cameras rolling during Lifted Truck Nationals, a lot of clips, and I've had pretty much zero time to do, uh, you know, any editing or just, I haven't even got to go through the footage yet, so I don't really even know what I've got that's usable. We've had a lot going on today. You know, I've got a lot of new subscribers on the channel. We are inching closer and closer to 10,000. We are, we're almost there guys. We've got like 900 more to go. We can do this. 10,000 by the end of the year would be absolutely amazing. And I appreciate all of your support, 100%. So what we're gonna do today for all of you new subscribers and everybody else that's rejoining the video, rejoining the channel, is we're just gonna go over the entire truck, especially since uh, the last video that you guys watched uh, was the truck getting painted. We've still got the OBS Addiction first official meet that happened at Lifted Truck Nationals. We've got that to look at, uh, as well as just Lifted Truck Nationals Day 1, Lifted Truck Nationals Day 2. All those videos will be coming very soon. Uh, just like I said, time to work on, on videos is very, very slim uh, for whatever reason, work, you know, anything else that's going on. But let's go ahead and take a look at the truck. Here she is for those who have never seen the truck before. It is a 1997 Chevrolet Silverado. Uh, it does have the GMC front end and uh, I converted it to that basically because I think it looks a lot better, a lot more clean. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go over that you know, here in the video. But uh, like I said before, if you have not seen the video of where we painted this thing, go ahead and click up above. Uh, pretty good video. I was pretty proud of it. And, uh, you know, it's just cool to see it transform from what it was before uh, to putting the new panels on, the new door on, and just getting everything sanded down and then getting a brand new coat of paint put on the truck. I've already got the question several times about the color code of the paint. And guys, it doesn't have a color code. This is 100% custom color. Um, if you really want to get technical with it, it's a tri-coat paint job based off of just the regular GM Olympic White, GM Summit White. Of course, not all Olympic White and not all Summit White are the same. Throughout the years, there was all sorts of variations on how they mix that color. And some of it has more black or some of it has more green or less green, more white, you know, whatever. So um, that's the biggest problem with white is that it's, it's really hard to match. If you remember before uh, when the truck was, before the truck got painted, um, I had several different pieces that may or may not have been different shades of white just because that color is is hard to match uh, but now we've got this custom color we know how to mix the pearl and everything so uh, everything should be a dead-on match from here on out uh, but like I said it is a pearl it's a trico paint and we've got house of color violet pearl in the mid coat so if you guys are kind of new to the painting world and you don't really know what I mean by tri coat paint it means um, basically you've got uh, coat one, which is your base coat, which is your color, that'll be the white. Coat two, which is the mid coat, which is a clear base that has the pearl mixed into it. And then coat three, which is the top coat clear, uh, gives you all your shine and all your gloss, all your depth. So that's the tri coat paint job. Pretty much the same as like, you know, the Cadillac white or the iridescent tri coat uh, that you get on some of the newer Chevys, GMCs, and Cadillacs. Jumping into the truck, um, different angles here, you're gonna see the purple pop out. It's uh, it's really a lot more visible if you have polarized sunglasses on or direct sunlight or even in the dark under fluorescent or LED lights. Uh, but really, really cool paint job and uh, has not been buffed or polished yet. This is literally straight out of the gun. Have not got a chance to buff and polish it. So uh, if it looks a little bit more dull, that would be why. The truck is currently sitting on a six inch 
rough country suspension lift, uh, 35 by 1250 Venom Power tires, and 20 by 12 Anthem Avenger wheels. Um, obviously the lift kit is definitely subject to change uh, because if you know rough country on these trucks you know that they really just don't ride the best in the world even with the shocks that I've got I've got uh, Bilstein 5100 series shocks and even then the, the truck just doesn't ride the best in the world the angles aren't the best on the front CV axle and all that stuff and uh, you just you really just need to uh, invest in a little bit more expensive lift if I could do it all over again you know start over with you know the money situation that I had at the time, I probably would have spent an extra couple hundred on a BDS or a zone lift. Uh, but we have we have rough country right now, and that's just going to have to to work. Uh, if you guys could tell, the accent color on the truck is purple. I've got the suspension powder coated illusion purple, as well as the tow hooks, and that all ties in together with the purple pearl on the truck. Like I said in the beginning, the grill is a GMC grill and the insert is actually a Tindust Customs uh, mesh insert. It's fully metal and uh, you cut out all the GMC stuff and this grill goes in place. Headlights and the uh, parking lights are just eBay or Amazon specials. Just uh, search up you know, chrome clear headlights K1500 and they'll pop up. Uh, but these guys are actually harder to find. Uh, they pop up on eBay every now and then, uh, but these are actually frosted marker lights. Pretty much the OE style, orange, but white. So it just looks really good on a white truck. Uh, really good on any color OBS, honestly, but especially on a white truck in my opinion. And again, we've got the uh, Bilstein 5100 series shocks, powder coated in stock upper control arm, powder coated in torsion bars, and Anthem off-road. Um, 20 by 12 Avenger series wheels and if you guys are interested in any Anthem wheels at all I've got a link down in the description that uh, you can go follow if you want to purchase a set of Anthem wheels tires anything like that definitely use that link and uh, it's a it's an affiliate link so it kind of gives me a little bit of kickback and shows people that people are using my link to buy stuff so moving on we've got boost auto parts tow mirrors color match to the truck uh, windshield is 18 percent full tinted and the sides right now are 25, and the back is also 25. I would say the most commonly asked question on the truck will be uh, about the windshield tint. Tint is pretty much the first thing people get done with their vehicles. Uh, at least it's the first thing that I do if I get a vehicle without window tint. Uh, but uh, you know, if you're starting out modding or building an OBS truck, and people ask, you know, what should I do first? Uh, typically, you know, throw some window tint on there, and it'll make things look much much better get rid of that fishbowl black out your windows make things look a lot better give you some more privacy and as far as the windshield goes I'm not gonna say that you can do it I'm not gonna say that you can't do it it's not legal to do uh, so I'm not you know throwing it out there I'm not just saying you know go tint your windshields and then if you get a ticket you know it's not gonna be on me so if you want to tint your windshield that's all up to you I, uh, I enjoy it I haven't personally had any issues yet out of it but uh, I do enjoy the tents it helps in the sunlight and uh, you know I wouldn't maybe go as dark as 18% if I were you guys uh, but I can see just fine out night out of, I can see just fine out the glass out at night so uh, it works for me so you just got to do whatever it is that you prefer and all the door handles on the truck are paint to match they're smoothed primed and painted to match the body of the truck here you can see a little bit more of the purple pearl at a different angle suns over there in the sky so you can see it a little bit more and if you guys are you know, fairly old on the channel been subscribed watching videos for a while you know they used to have the roll pan on the back um, you know it was cool for a little bit and uh, I got rid of that and put a bumper back on it and this bumper is actually um, it's kind of like it's, I guess a work truck bumper and it's for a fleet side truck so I had to cut it and make it fit uh, this truck and the step pads a little bit harder to find I believe these guys are like 150 bucks a piece on eBay but I lucked out and found them at the local salvage yard this step pad is just an aftermarket step pad and these guys are also a little bit harder to find as well I was literally freaking out for a second because I thought that was like paint peeling up but I took this to the car wash last weekend and used that rainbow color and it's just like leftover dried soap so yeah that kind of scared me just a second but anyhow step side bed it's 
got a bed cover on it. Uh, link is up here somewhere if you want to watch the video about the bed cover. Uh, not too many of these fit a step side truck, uh, but I did find one on eBay. It's like 200, 250 bucks, and you could use it uh, on your step side truck. So it's pretty cool uh, since there's not too many of them out there that are that cheap. Tail lights are also on eBay. I cannot link these. Uh, at all for you guys, mainly because every time I post a link, uh, these things get sold out and then the link don't work. So uh, you just have to kind of browse eBay and try to find them. Interior wise, we've got basically a stock OBS interior as of right now. It's pretty clean uh, for its age. I definitely do want to do something with reupholstering these seats and you know maybe doing a double den in the dash, you know, doing some headliner, uh, something else, maybe black carpets. Maybe black and tan seats. I don't know yet. I've got some ideas of what I would like to have happen, uh, but in order to make it happen, I don't know, you know, who to go through, you know, who to use, what to do. So it's just, uh, you know, it's just, it's something that's definitely going to come in the future. And of course, full LED interior lights. Of course, the outside is also 100% LED. Uh, turn signals are switchbacks. Uh, the bottom turn signals on the front are from JDM, A Star, and eBay. And the tow mirrors have Boost Auto Parts switchbacks. And Boost Auto Parts is also one of my biggest sponsors. So I've got a link down below in the description. If you guys want to pick your setup, a set of mirrors for your Chevy pickup, your Ford pickup, Toyota, uh, Dodge, Ram, they've got a bunch of new mirrors out for them, as well as all of the switchback lights and basically just any lights in general. I do highly recommend you get Boost Auto Parts mirrors. The quality is just absolutely outstanding, as well as the customer service. It makes up for uh, the price. You're gonna pay a little bit more, but I promise you, it is 100% worth it. And that pretty much wraps it up. That's uh, that's up to date and current with the brand new paint job and everything. And there's really just not too much else to say. Obviously, I've got a ton of future plans. So if you're new to the channel and you like OBS content, please be sure to smash that subscribe button and throw a like up on this video because there's a lot more stuff coming to this truck as far as interior, more exterior. I'm planning a full engine build as well. Right now we just have the basic uh, stock 350. I'm definitely planning an engine build for the truck and uh, I don't know, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna do an LS swap or if I'm gonna do something else. I haven't really made up my mind yet, but I definitely do have ideas in the works and uh, you know, it's just it's something else to, uh, you know, to move up in the, in the upgrades. When you're dealing with these trucks, guys, I mean, they are, they're everywhere, but they're the next big thing. There's a ton of nice OBS builds on Instagram, Facebook, a ton of them out there. And uh, you know, if you guys want to start an OBS build, now's the time to do it. And uh, all sorts of ideas all over the internet. Instagram, like I said, here on YouTube. And a lot of the stuff I've done, and a lot of the stuff I'm definitely planning on doing in the future. Appreciate all of you guys that have been here since the beginning, as well as all of the new guys and new people coming to the channel. I'm watching these videos all the time. It, uh, you know, I see people comment on old stuff, and it's really cool. Uh, to know that people are going back that far, seeing those videos. So be sure you put a thumbs up on this. Let's let's do a like challenge on this video. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. 50 likes. I know you guys could probably do it. So 50 likes is all I'm asking for, and uh, that's the challenge for you guys. Sorry, I don't have really anything to offer as far as if we hit that challenge, uh, but I've never done it before. So I figure let's go ahead and give it a try. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you all in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,